Hi there guys and welcome to this uh, demo of the Wampler Faux Tape Echo with Tap Tempo. This is pretty similar to the existing Faux Tape Echo that's uh, been out for a while in uh, Brian's range. But this one has a couple of added uh, features. It's got the Tap Tempo feature, which was uh, really highly requested by customers. And this um, Faux Tape Reel uh, section, which has got the movement and sway. It's like a touch sensitive dynamic modulation um, function not like a standard kind of chorus that you might find on some pedals, but actually uh, very touch sensitive, reacts really well to your playing. So controls wise, uh, we've got level, repeats, uh, this is like a feedback control, uh, shade, which is controlling the uh, overall tone of your delayed repeats, echo, which is controlling the time. We can go up to 800 milliseconds here. Anything above 600 is starting to get artifacts because the uh, the chip inside has been really being pushed to its limits, but it actually adds quite a cool effect. So between 600 and 800, um, is kind of a slightly different sound, but generally the delays are really pristine. This is digital delay with an all analog um, uh, dry signal path. So you've got all the benefits of uh, digital delay, but with the uh, it doesn't destroy your tone or affect your tone in any way when it's in true bypass mode or when you're actually engaged, the original signal is still running all analog. So really, really nice. And then in the middle, you've got the faux tape reel section, which has got basically an engage and a uh, disengage or bypass switch movement, which uh, is like the, uh, it's kind of like the level of modulation and then sway. You'll hear what these two do. There's not, not much point really describing it. It's better if you hear it really. But this is your sort of touch sensitive dynamic modulation section. Uh, really, really, really cool. And you heard that in that little intro clip. And then obviously bypass and tap tempo. First thing I'm gonna show you is just the tap tempo function because that's brand new. Um, so just works exactly as expected basically. If you tap, there you go, LED reflects. <laughs> Okay, let's do a faster one. Really, really, really accurate. Um, that foot switch is very easy to press as well. It's not a clicking switch, it's just one of those that pushes down. Um, very, very nice and even action as well, so really, really easy to use. So that's great. Uh, if we move on to some of the other controls, obviously the level control, pretty obvious what that does. level of repeats basically. Okay, then the repeats function in terms of number of repeats. So when that's off, we just get one repeat. Okay, which is great for kind of slapback stuff if I just disengage the chorus. There we go. So that works really, really well. Um, if I Bring both of these up again, so we've got a slightly longer delay up in the middle. You can hear there the quality of the delay, it's really, really pristine. If I just bring the shade all the way up, I'll go through this control in a second. And you've got this awesome tape echo style uh, deterioration to the, uh, the echo. Really, really cool. favorite kind of delay because it doesn't get in the way of your playing. And the timing on there is absolutely rock solid, absolutely fantastic. Um, obviously I didn't tap that in, but if I was to tap a longer delay in. You can hear a little bit of the grain that's coming into the signal there just because we've gone around about 600 milliseconds or maybe a little bit over. I think it's cool, I like it. Okay, so the shade control is basically controlling the overall tone of the delayed signal or the echoes that you're hearing. So at the moment, this is actually all the way up. So we're getting the brightest uh, echoes we can get from the unit. Okay, and they've obviously got that vintagey analog kind of sound. These are not uh, super pristine kind of uh, d uh, delays. They're more of that kind of character delay. So I'm just gonna bring the delay time down a little bit. Bring the shade down halfway. Okay, let's just increase the shade all the way back up. Back down again. 
Here, that's getting darker. If we bring it down further. Now that I really like. That's a really nice delayed signal. Now if we take it all the way down, just play a single note. quite hard there and the level is just under halfway and it's not getting in the way of my playing at all. Let me just show you how many repeats we can get out of this as well. So this is all the way up with the repeats. Obviously awesome sounding kind of um, degradation going on there with the signal. I love that kind of sound. Increase the level. Really cool, really, really like it, that's fantastic. Okay, so if we bring the delays down a little bit, let's engage now, bring the shade a bit further up, level down, repeats as they were. I'm gonna engage the uh, faux tape reel now. So if I bring this in, just bring these all the way off for a minute so you're still hearing the standard kind of delayed signal. Just so you can hear, this is not doing anything to the tone by switching this in and the controls are down. So if I bring the movement and the sway up halfway, what we're getting is, is a dynamic sort of touch sensitive modulation. Quite subtle at this stage. As I increase these, let's increase the movement. is really stunning, really beautiful modulation. So bring the movement down. Increase the sway. There's not quite so much pitch change in that modulation now. This is the difference when we switch it out. So the other sound that I'm a big fan of is if you bring the echo time down pretty significantly, um, just have sort of one or two repeats and increase the level and have the modulation going. You get this really cool kind of um, chorus echo effect that's almost like blending in with the original signal because of the delay so fast. But with the uh, faux tape reel added in it, it adds a really nice kind of chorusing effect that's quite sort of nice and touch sensitive. the modulation in. Thank you. 
cool uh, if we increase the repeats. <laughs> sounding pedal um, so just set it back to a fairly normal kind of setting just before we finish so you can really hear again just the quick sound of the uh, delay by itself so that's a bit too much modulation fantastic sounding delay pedal um, pretty flexible uh, lots of uh, different sounds available out of it supremely well made, all super high quality components, and the addition of the Tap Tempo, which is really, really cool. So that's the Wampler Fauté Peco Tap Tempo version. Okay, hope you've enjoyed the demo. Go and check one out as soon as you can.